shocking news, my lovely, wonderful people. A very shocking story is reaching us at the moment, and everybody is just, you know, really in shock, I must tell you. The ex-governor of Lagos State, okay, Ambody, he's a... Uh, the yes, ex-governor of Lagos State, Ambody, his chef, okay, has just been sentenced to prison, you know, sentenced to prison for stealing multi-million Naira property. This is what is happening right about now. And everybody's wondering, you know, how come your chef was able to lay hands on property documents and what have you, and now you have to commit him to, to prison, you know, what exactly is going on? These are some of the questions people have been asking. What happened? What went on? What really, you know, these are some of the things that are bothering people's mind and they want to understand it. Ambody was the governor who only served one of the governors in Lagos State since Nigeria returned to democracy in 1999 who have served just one tenor. It was him that uh, Sanwolu took over from when he offended Tinubu and the godfather said you will not uh, continue. So this is what is happening. His chef has just been sentenced to, you know, prison. But see the reason. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. The chief magistrate, Peter Nwoko, ordered the reminder of Adeyomi for 30 days. A magistrate court in Lagos State has reminded Victor Abayomi a chef of former governor of Lagos State, Akinwumi Ambode, at the Koyi Correction Center for allegedly stealing valuables worth millions of naira at the former governor Sikoyi's residence. The story of his arrest and reminder in prison has continued to spark up a lot of reactions among Nigerians. And people are wondering what exactly is going on. Aibayomi was reminded by uh, Sabo Yaba Magistrate Court in Lagos State on Monday. The Chief Magistrate Peter Walker ordered the reminder of Abayomi for 30 days to be in prison. Walker, however, adjourned the case until April 8th for investigation and presentation of facts. Abayomi, whose house address was not provided, is standing trial on a two-count charge of conspiracy and theft. Earlier, the legal officer, Joseph Baba Lola, in employment of state security services, DSS, told the court that Abayomi and some others still at large committed the offense mm -hmm. at the at the residence of the former governor. Baba Lola alleged that the defendant carried away valuable item worth millions of naira from his employer's residence in Ikui. This has continued to spark up reactions. He said the defendant has gone to old garage Morode local government area or Shun State where he was arrested by Ambrose and SSS on March the 7th. The, of, the offenders, Baba Lola said, the, according to section 287 and 411, the criminal code of Lagos State 2015, he must be reminded in prison until thorough investigations is carried out. So this is what happened. Okay, former governor, um, Chef, they say we say a thief. You know, they say yeah, so be say not one by himself. Oh, uh, say he did not do it by himself. Say yeah, some other people and uh, they work together to see to it that you know they take things will not belong to them from the house of the uh, you know of this uh, 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 former governor of the state. You know, say they collect things worth millions. Times so they don't see the things lying around. They don't see the things. Say the things just there. Nobody, nobody's attending to it. Nothing is happening. You know, and uh, so they just had to, okay, they just had to, uh, they move it. But it's not an excuse, though, if you thief, like, no, no, they go prison, you know? uh, so they will, they will suffer for the consequences of the decisions they have made. So this is part of what is happening. They said, well, they've got till April, 
investigations have to be, have to take place everybody needs to understand you know what happened you know people need to present with facts you know how all of this went on you know they need to understand it they need to get to the very very bottom of it so this is part of what is happening right about now so everybody's watching everybody's waiting he said you know uh, uh, millions money worth of worth of millions was taken out of you know the home of the former governor and everybody wants to know you know how all of this is going on so my people how do we how do we understand it you know how do we see it okay how do we see it so this is what is happening now this is what is going on okay so how do we how do we begin to you know begin to make a you know change in terms of what is going on what do we need to put in place and how do we need to begin to ensure that at the end of the day you know people are not kept you know just in one place everybody is able to you know move and understand you know the current disposition of things you know i mean these are helps okay this is the chef and he must have looked at the whole house studied it you know understood it and said ah it is uh it is it's okay for him to steal you know he would have have seen and said that it's okay for him to steal how can he successfully i mean there there is a what's it called security operatives in the house okay so this is a former governor not just anybody so how was he able to move it you know you know how was he able to move those things things you are saying what's millions you know how was he able to move it successfully out of the vicinity and nobody actually saw it nobody really you know saw any of this going on you know people allow these things to just happened so it is a very it's a is a question is a question for reality that everybody wants to understand it well as it stands the governor is being uh, the, the former governor is making sure that he goes to prison for you know the decision he has made and what a view you know so these are some of the issues going on now you see so please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Remember, you have a voice. And so we all must continue to speak out to ensure that the truth is being revealed and Nigeria can move forward. Mm -hmm. You know, we want to understand what is going on, how we got here, what we could do possibly in order to, to, to change the course of what is going on. God bless. Bye for now.